Bro, did you see that video on Twitter? Bro, I did just step on Twitter last night and I'm exposed yo. Yo, Twitter funny, you know, bro? I was just on Twitter and... <laughs> bro, yeah, let me just screenshot this from Twitter and post it on IG, yeah, man. Well, I was just catching up on some politics on Twitter and... <sighs> Twitter is so toxic, OMG. Well, time to go on Twitter. Must suck to be a Twitter user. Definitely drag you on Twitter. Twitter, 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 Twitter. The most toxic and drama-ridden app on the planet had its own origins based on drama. Who would have guessed? What do I mean by that? Well, we're gonna get into that because after all, this is Twitter then versus now. So, where to begin? Of course, Twitter didn't start off as Twitter. It originally started off as Audio, a podcast music streaming service that was launched in 2005. The main guys behind it were, and pay close attention to their names by the way, Evan Williams, Biz Stone, Noah Glass, and Jack Dorsey, who most people may know as the CEO of Twitter. And before he became CEO and started working at Odeo, he actually was working at a coffee shop and used to write codes for like, ticket companies. But it was really Evan and Noah who were the main guys behind Odeo. And Noah was actually the one who showed the most enthusiasm about Odeo. Naturally, the company ended up flopping because of Apple. Yeah, yeah, ap ap Apple again. Again. Yeah, they released audio around the time that Apple released iTunes and sad to say audio just couldn't keep up. Your audio? Yeah. Get out. What? I said get out but what why i'm better than you you know the job boy i mm-hmm but luckily jack had an idea he had this whole lingering idea about status and people being able to give updates on what it is that they were doing at a particular time throughout their day kind of like a text messaging app but instead of texting one person or a specific group of people you're texting the whole public yeah so what happened next was jack told noah who told evan and evan who by the way was a major investor in the company he was skeptical about jack's idea and decided to make noah glass the project manager noah was obsessed with the idea that jack had he even helped to come up with the name of it guess what he came up with No, 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 not, not Twitter. Twitter. And then what happens after this gets complicated. So basically, Evans, who was a major investor, as I said, in the company, he ended up having to split up the shares in the company and ended up acquiring a majority of those shares. And, and thus, he pretty much owned the company. He ended up owning Twitter. By this time, Twitter wasn't doing so bad. It was actually beginning to show like some signs of major profitability and Evans even changed the name of the company from Audio to Obvious Corp who managed Project Twitter and then he fired the guy who helped to develop the major and most profitable project that they had at the time Noah Glass Hey uh, Noah Hey boss man, what's up? Oh, you know, yeah, you know, the, the wife's good and uh, oh, by the way, you're fired and uh... What? Hmm? You said I'm fired? Oh, yeah, yeah, you're fired, you're fired. Uh, Why? I don't know, I guess I just stopped liking you. Uh, I, don't, I don't really know the full details, but uh, yeah. I literally developed this idea. Actually, Jack developed this idea. So you literally made me project manager and you're just gonna find me like this? Um, yeah, and guess what? I'm not even gonna include you in the official history of Twitter. Like, your name, no one's gonna know it. <laughs> yeah, that's right, tweet about it. Oh, wait.
Yep. Evans literally just fired the guy who played a key role in Twitter's birth. And it wasn't until Business Insider traced down its developments that Noah Glass was able to actually speak his truth, so to say. I'll definitely leave the article down below in the description for those of you who may be so inclined to read. So yeah, it's pretty messy stuff right there and I guess it's business. Unfair business though. Actually, let me put it up right here. Noah has actually said that he felt betrayed by his friends, his company, and the people he trusted and worked with to create something extraordinary. And even though if you go on his now deactivated Twitter profile, you'll see in his bio that he put, I started this. Yeah, some pretty dark stuff. So switching gears a little bit, six months after its launch, Twitter is now a success. Um, they changed the name from Twitter to Twitter and in 2007, Twitter officially launched as its own company with Jack Dorsey as the CEO of the company. And Twitter has had so many changes after it became its own company that I had to actually list them in a timeline. So let's take a look at the timeline. <coughs> August 2007, the hashtag makes its debut. October 2008, Jack is removed as the CEO by its shareholders and replaces him with Evan Williams because of several server failures being unresolved. October 2009, Evan Williams and Bizstone are listed on their Times top 100 most influential people in the world. Jack, however, didn't make the list. November 2009, Twitter changes prompt what's your status to what's happening like we see now before we type a tweet. October 2010, the CEO changed from Evan Williams to a man named Dick Costello. September 2011, Twitter reached 100 million users. June 2012, Twitter changes its logo to the iconic bird. October 2012, did y'all know that Twitter acquired Vine? I did not know that. December 2012, Twitter reached 200 million users and a year later, it was valued at $31 billion. June 2015, Jack Dorsey finally becomes the CEO of Twitter again. And it's a lot of stuff. It's a lot of stuff and we haven't even talked about what happened in the past four years. Political tensions being so prominent in 2016 because of the presidential elections and Donald Trump being so outspoken on Twitter that actually brought in more users for the company and not to mention the 2020 elections. There are also several controversies such as Twitter's flagging and censorship of certain tweets, the discontinuation of Vine, testimonies before the US Senate, Twitter being such a massive space for the social justice movements that have been taking place in recent times, etc, etc, etc. Now, Twitter has become a source of information and entertainment for all ages. From 13 and upwards, Twitter is an app for all users, all people of all ages, and will probably be around for a good while now, especially because of the continually improving interface. It's recent flagging of certain content that is put out by certain sources that are perceived to be official. And of course, the people on Twitter who make Twitter, Twitter. Or is it Twitter? Twitter, 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 Twitter. I said Twitter. Anybody said Twitter? Like from Jamaica, anybody said Twitter? I said Twitter. We love you, Twitter. And your memes. And there you have it. The then versus now of Twitter. The drama in this story is pretty crazy. In fact, I kind of feel like this was more of a Twitter history lesson than a then versus now. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this nonetheless. And guys, by the way, we're almost at 500 subscribers. And I'm thinking of doing a 500 subscriber Q&A. So yeah, make sure to subscribe if you guys want to see that. And share this video with anybody. And yeah, that's it from me. Thanks for watching. Shamar Crossfield. I don't remember what line I was supposed to say. Sorry. I don't remember what line I was supposed to say.